In this video, I'm going to show you how you can increase the gain of the audio within a video file on your computer. Now, this right here will work on Windows, Mac, and Linux. And if you found the video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video where you can see the step-by-step -step instructions. And I'll be using a program called Handbrake. And if you don't have Handbrake on your system, you can click the link. It will create a tab where you can download the newest version at the time. Now, I'm currently using version 1.6.1. .1. If you have other platforms, you can click here, but it should detect what operating system you currently have. But if you're downloading it to put it on a thumb drive or DVD or something, you can choose other platforms and download it for your system. Now, one of the reasons I'm doing this is uh, recently my uncle was wanting to increase some of the audio files on some thumb drives of some old movies that he had put on there and because he put it watched it within the USB on his TV smart TV and when he'd switch over to his TV channels they'd be real loud so he asked me could I there I fix them and I, I'm making this video so I can show him what I did so he can do that to the rest of his uh, video files that has low gain audio uh, so I do have the step-by-step -step instructions and as you can see here there's no instructions here and I could find videos but they looked different so I wanted to apply my video to what he had so if you're watching this video it's 1.6.1 .1. in the future they may change the look but it should still have these features within it that you might have to go a little bit different uh, steps within the upgrade but at the time this is 1.6.1 .1. now these are the simple steps for increasing them of mp4 mkv or webm video files i'm not going to read all of this i just show you step by step from uh, all the processes you need in order to increase the gain now let's actually put this to practical use let's go and open up our program let's select handbrake and it should open. You can drag and drop your video file and put here. You can click the open source, go to the folder that on the left hand side and select your video file and hit open. Now one thing that you do want to do uh, before you go any further is you want to keep the video resolution the same. So I'm going to bring up my media info and I'm going to look at the resolution of the original file. The original file is an MKV as you can see here. It's a 1920 by 1080 which is 16 by 9 re, uh, resolution so as you can see here the default setting here is 1080 by uh, 30 frames per second if you have something different you can come through here and collect select what matches your system within one of these menus here so if you have 720p or even something higher than 1080p you can come through here and select it now you remember my format was MKV if you want to keep the format the same, it, by default it selects MK4, uh, MPG4, MPEG4. You can change it to uh, the MKV format to keep it the same, or you can make it the WebM format. I'm going to change it from MKV to MPEG4 format. So it will look on the output, it will be MP4. Now before you start the process for making any changes at this time, you might want to choose what folder you're going to put the video file. Since this is in the downloads folder, I'm going to convert the file and put it into the videos folder. If you'd like to change that, you could drop the change, select the folder, or choose other and select a folder that's not on this list. But it's okay, I'm going to leave it in the videos folder. Now once you hit the start button after you make the audio changes, you can say when done, show a notification. At the bottom it will say uh, it's completed. Or you can choose do nothing, say show notifications. You can quit handbrake to shut the program down you can put the computer to sleep or you can shut down the computer so if you're doing this and you're doing a big conversion or or if you're doing a queue with several conversions and you can go to bed and when it's completed it will shut down your computer when you get up the next morning so I'm just gonna keep the default show notification now the thing you want to do now since you got the video file up is to choose the audio tab then select the audio file over here you have an edit audio track button when you click on that you now can see some of the changes you can make to the audio file since the only thing we want to make the changes for is to increase the gain and, and as you can see here gain is measured in decibels you're going to click the speaker icon when you click the speaker icon you can go up to 20 decibels all the way up to 20 and you can go all the way down to decrease the gain by 20 so if you have a very loud audio and you like to decrease it you can come down below zero and that decreases the gain to 
so that it, the volume's not real loud and you have to turn it low and when you switch back over to your TV channels you have to increase them but in this case my uncle's was he had to increase the volume when he switched over to his channels he had to turn them down so you just play around with it because different volumes are at different levels a lot of times I use 13 decibels but again that varies according to the file and uh, the gain and the volume control that you normally like to set it at so that's something you have to play around with when you're finished you choose the icon to close it then hit save when you're completely finished with all the settings now if you want to do multiple files you hit add to queue and then open and do the same thing and add to queue then when you start it will do all the files that's in your queue since I'm only doing one file I hit the start button and as you can see it's going to start a little progress bar that goes across the bottom until it's completed so I'll just give it a couple uh, it says it'll be completed in 34 seconds so we'll hang on for 34 seconds until it's completed and when it gets to the end notice the little notification we have set for default at the bottom it's gonna say that it's done so it's about half a little over halfway finished and when it's finished it'll give you a little notification in the lower left hand corner so the don't close it and don't do anything. A lot of times, let's say you can minimize it and do things in the background. I recommend not doing that so that it won't cause any glitches in your audio file. You've may have been successful and I've not really ever had any problems. I just don't like to do anything while conversion is taking place. As you can see here, encode is now done. We can close the program. As you can see here, the original file was in my downloads folder. The, com the converted file is now in the videos folder. So the download file was an MKV. I converted it now, transcoded it to an MP4. And I'm not going to play the before and after, but as you can see here, it's the same video file that the volume, because it's kind of static here and it goes from the different speakers, uh, you'll notice an increase in your volume from the original file to your output converted file. So if you're having trouble with hearing the audio or you have to increase the audio of a video file and then when you stop you have to turn the volume down to, to for your normal channels, you can now learn to boost your audio or increase your audio of a video file. Hopefully this video has helped someone and have a great day.